Tell you why we joining us is Danny Martin, founder of Geek Leaks, uh, one of the leads in esports. We'll get into his story later on in the show. To my left, you know this guy, this this uh, superstar himself, that is Bruce T. Bruce Taylor, co-host of Spot on Sports on KKEIFM Radio every Saturday from six to eight thirty. Uh, guys, it's, it's it's good to be back in studio, man. That's all I can say. Danny, I appreciate you for joining. I'm just happy about being on the show. It's the first time, so it's hey, always man, nice it's, to see you guys. So it's awesome to be It's family, man. Me, it's right? family, man. <laughs> you give, you give it spot on sports to home. Uh, and, and we have this, this really nice establishment to come in and grow and come in and just be creative as possible. Also, we appreciate that. Uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, we venture into the second half of the NBA season with roughly 24 games left, and the race to the playoffs is on as we take a look at the standings in both the East and Western conferences. We discuss what to expect within the last 24 games. Bruce, NBA is your feast, so I'll give you the first take. Um, honestly, man, I'm just feeling that uh, I think the top five teams on both sides. I don't think it'll be too much movement, but I think if you look at the lower seedings, uh, six through eight, I think that's where a lot of the changes will come with the last 24 games. Uh, you have teams like on the Eastern Conference side, the Bulls, you have the Bucks, and the Pacers. I feel like those teams will play each other um, at least two or three more times in these last 24 games. So that will have a big a big um, precedent on, on seeding, which will affect the top four or five teams. Matchups is a big thing in the playoffs, so you don't want to go against certain teams um, in the playoffs because they may make a series, like a first-round series, go seven games when you only want it to go four games. So this is where the last 24 games get, get pretty crucial. And on the West, um, you have teams like Portland, Memphis, and also uh, a, a team like OKC is down there at six, which is crazy. I don't know why they, they aren't playing me any better, but when you have teams like that with Portland, Portland has always given teams like uh, Golden State fits. Uh, you think about the other year when Curry hurt his knee on the floor, um, Portland was their team. They gave him a couple of losses too when they won. Uh, I think they went 73-9 and nine that year, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. And they just served him a loss, you know, before the All-Star game. Danny, you have a lot of uh, dealings within the NBA, whether it be uh, gaming per se. Is there any team that you're expecting to possibly make a jump or leap to now for a playoff spot or already in position of a playoff spot that you're uh, liking to say, hey, this this team is it has a chance to be in the finals possibly? For sure. So off top, man, I just like the change that the Cavaliers made. So um, it's up in the, up in the air. Nobody definitely knows in regards to the new staff that, and the new actual employees and the players that they have. Um, so I just hope the, for the best for them because you have an individual who's such a leader. Um, and he has a, a real big role now to make sure that he leads the you know the pack. I'm interested in the Western uh, Conference, uh, especially with the the bottom teams. When you, you're looking at the Trailblazers and you're looking at the Pelicans and the Clippers, mm -hmm. uh, battling, first you're battling for the eighth spot, right. and and the Pelicans. <coughs> They they're impressing us because of the fact that they lost Boogie. The Pelicans. Yeah, but they still found a way to win. Stop. You it, gotta man. get Why do we talk it's about the Pelicans? Really, the Pelicans. I don't want to talk about the Pelicans. But I'm 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 interested in the bottom season in the, in the bottom season. Okay, well give me somebody who's gonna make some noise in the playoffs by the uh, season. I mean, that's what I'm saying. You you got the you got the Trailblazers. They just beat the Warriors. You got the Pelicans. You got you got the Clippers. Clippers are, have basically remade, so remade themselves. We shouldn't talk about any bottom season in the West because we know the top, the West is so top heavy that we know that the Warriors, the Rockets. Well, you know, LeBron's going to cake off the East. So, you know. uh, coming from you, not, not to say, Uncle Drew fan. Hey, we ain't talking about the Celtics oh, man, right man, now, dog. We know what the Celtics going to do. Look, respect LeBron first, okay? You try to always talk about what LeBron <laughs> can and can't do. Respect the man. I'm just okay? telling you. Then you are a Boston Celtics fan. How do you feel with those guys going into the to the break with a three game sliding? Do you think they're gonna jump back these last twenty four games and get back in rhythm? Of course. 
Oh, you they, 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 yes, being at, being at the top of the East since they were at the beginning oh. of the season. Oh, we yeah. know they can use interchangeable lineups. Kyrie is a, is the leader of that team. Oh, uh, is he hey. a shortcut late leader? Why not? Is the coach the leader or is, or is Kyrie the leader? Why can't you look at it both of them? I think What's the coach that? is the leader, not Kyrie. Why is it not Kyrie, though? I just feel like Kyrie went to a system that he knew was point guard friendly and he made a good decision. Because he only, gave, he four, his he only gave him four teams he wanted to go to. He didn't say, just trade me anywhere. Yeah, he knew what his skills were because he knew he, who he was before LeBron came back to Cleveland. But that's neither here nor there. Um, they ahead of the Cavs, though, right? Can't follow. I'm just saying. I'm so okay, okay. Then how about this? What? If we're not talking about the Cavs, then what about the Raptors? What? Well, we, okay. we can't dismiss the fact let's, that they are first in the East. Let's talk, let, let's talk about all the top three seeds of the East then. Okay. Well, especially what Danny just said. Um, they basically reshuffled the team around. So all three of the first, all three of these first three seeds here, they have a new team. Mm -hmm. The Raptors have a new team, Van Fleet from Wichita State. They uh they've gotten rid of, of some players, so they haven't they don't have as much playoff experience as we thought they did maybe last year, the year before that. And the same thing as well when it comes with the Celtics. I mean, those guys went to the playoffs last year, but they, they only have what? Ten games, twelve games under their belt. And LeBron is now leading a new group of guys coming in with Clarkson and uh, Larry Nance and uh, Rodney Hood, who hasn't been to the playoffs as much or even at all, so to speak, with some of those guys. So now you're going to go in and see where does your flame come in, where does that fire come in, you know, who can really put the pieces together and get the rhythm going. I respect LeBron respect. And, and, and the foothold he has mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. on the Eastern Conference Thank for you. roughly... Your whole life. Whole life. Yeah. No, yours. <laughs> yours. <laughs> man, hey, 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 hey. I'm just telling you, Monk. Pay homage to the other teams, though, man. That's all I want to say. I get what the Cavs are doing. I get the remade roster thing. I, I get all that. We discussed that last time. But but we're, we're we're looking at the Raptors and we're looking at the Celtics. Right. Teams that you, you can't dismiss them. We and, and I'm not saying it, it is first and four. I'm not saying you. they hang in with the Cavs in, in, the, whole, in the whole seven games. I, I, I'm just saying. We can't dismiss them. I'm not the Cavs have some. They had for right now. Like I'm, I'm going to say have still because we haven't seen this this new team in a full stretch yet. That's true. Have That's problems. True. And you and, and you. And they're still going to be learning when the playoff comes as well. Right. So even. But is there time to learn in the playoffs? Do you have that? Do you have that 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 opening that opportunity to say let's use this time now to jail when we're facing the Raptors well, look, when we're facing the Celtics. They're all professionals. Yeah. They've been playing basketball since AAU. So they they've had pressure moments and in, in situations they've already seen. Now it's just more so LeBron getting to know your sweet spot where I can find you. Who I really have confidence in when it comes to making a shot or who I can who I can lean on if I need to, you know, do something else defensively or offensively. And these 24 games are going to be an exhibition of seeing who, what skill sets are, are best suited for these players we picked up. So when you get into the playoffs, you can draw up a scheme. Because it's not, right now it's, I have to play the, the Wizards tonight. I have to play the Celtics tomorrow. I have to play. In the playoffs in April, and May, it's going to be, we have to play this team for one week. I know your strengths. I know your weaknesses. I know what matchups are good. I know Larry Nance can out jump you. I know Jordan Clarkson can defend you better. I know that, you know, I can... Put these things together so 24 games will just give you a skill set of what everybody can do. The playoffs will be when LeBron will take over as a true champion, middle tested guy he is, and he'll put these guys in position. We'll be interested to see how the remaining 24 games play out. Uh, we'll get into a couple more things as the season continues on. We'll get into close to uh, playoff appearances and who's where. Yeah, we'll break it to LeBron and break it to Bristol. Or something like that. Coming up next. <laughs> If there ain't trouble on the court, mm -hmm. possibly trouble off of it. Dallas Mavericks, Mark Cuban, what's going on? We'll get into that spot on sports. We'll return in a moment. Dun, 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 dun.